You've probably heard the words preload and afterload thrown around like crazy, but what do they actually mean? Let's break it down into plain English and make it easy. Think of your heart like a massive water balloon. Preload is just how much water you put in the water balloon. It's the amount of blood that's coming back to the heart, thus stretching it out further and further. More stretch means more fill, which actually means that the heart's gonna have a stronger squeeze, but only up to a point though. If you fill the heart too much, so for instance, you say this patient comes in and you're like, I give him fluids, give him more fluids, give him more fluids. At some point that becomes completely detrimental to that patient. Your heart can only handle so much preload before it just collapses and isn't able to pump it anymore. Afterload is the pressure that the heart has to pump against to be able to get the blood to expel from the heart. Let's think of this in terms of like blowing up a balloon, right? So I wanna blow up this balloon and I wanna get it as, as big as possible, but someone else is on the other side pushing against the balloon so that it doesn't inflate anymore. This creates a pressure that I have to blow against to be able to inflate the balloon. Too much pressure, not a good thing. So we can lower it using medications like uh, nitroglycerin, but you also gotta be super careful. Anytime that you affect either one, you end up affecting the other one. Therefore, the term optimizing preload and afterload is actually just about putting the heart back into the sweet spot, right? Somewhere in the middle where we get the best of both worlds.